Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about building a scalable business. I think when many people start out to build their own business, we've all got grandiose ideas and we're going big or going home. What ends up happening for those that actually do succeed in building a viable business is they've actually only bought themselves a job. Now what I mean by that is they're working their tails off, basically have no personal time, and they're actually not making like net income into their own personal bank account. They're not making any more money than they were when they were an employee somewhere else. So we call that having bought yourself a job. Congratulations, you've bought yourself a job, but there's not a lot in it. There's no increase in profits. It's a job that's generally very difficult um, or a business that would be difficult to sell if all of the intellectual property of the business or creativity lives in your brain as the owner. It's difficult to sell. It's only built on your name and you're not making any more money than you were as an employee. Not a great idea. You really may as well go back to work for someone else, hand off the stress and just make what you were making anyway. In order to build a scalable business, you need to have a model that allows for the business founder, the startup person to eventually phase themselves out and allow other people to come in which then widens the number of people that you can serve. So if your whole business model is built around you, solely you, and that's all it's going to be, well, you can still do well for yourself, and um, but you're going to have to systematize and work that out. Now, as far as being a solopreneur and getting to perhaps an end limit. So you're an entrepreneur, you've grown a business, you're making more than you did when you were perhaps or what's possible as an employee in another company. If you want to stay a solopreneur because you're kind of up to your eyeballs and you're at your limit, then you need to do a couple of times. You have to systematize. This is a lot about like Tim Ferriss and the four hour work week. You need to systematize your life. If that's the way that you want to stay and that's what works for you, great, good job. But you've got to really, really bring discipline to systematizing your calendar. Um, you know, get maybe a virtual assistant overseas uh, if you want to hire somebody else, um, and really make it scalable for your own personal time, so that you've maximized yourself and you're still making more than what's possible. But you're highly, highly systematized in your calendar and the way that you process people's communication, products, and services. The next part is the scalability model. This is where if you're really going to grow this. So if there's only one of you, well, that's a problem. You're going to need to hire a team. Now this goes from being, again, the solopreneur to now you're up to your eyeballs and you want more. You need to hire people who can take on your administration tasks so that you as the leader are doing only what you can do, which is generally gathering more business, uh, growing business relationships, in person so that you have someone behind the scenes who is dealing with any kind of scheduling um, your personal calendar perhaps grow, helping you grow with social media and um, doing a lot of online presence then there's also the what products and services you offer so if you're going to scale your business you need to be able to scale the products and services are they in a way that only you can do them because that's not scalable or is it in a way that Right now, you're offering the product or service, but if it's a product, you get distributors, so that now it kind of removes you from it, and you have somebody else retailing it, or if it's a service, is it uh, set up in a way that in the future, you could have other people come in and offer that, right? Like, um, you know, a lot of the Anthony Robbins courses. Well, Anthony Robbins does not offer them all himself. He did in the beginning, but then he has um, made them such that they can be offered by people trained by him. Stephen Covey has done the same thing. Stephen Covey does not offer all of his training programs, but he now has people who are trained and certified to do it for him. So building a scalable business, you need to think, what are the ways that you can maintain doing only what you can do and offer products and services in a way that you are not needed? It is uh, a little bit like removing yourself from the equation. That enables you to multiply your income without multiplying your time. So you want to make your time most efficient. Um, again, I've talked about three things. You don't just want to buy yourself a job. It's a whole lot of effort to get through the startup phase only to be making what you were making before. 
out with that idea, go get a job somewhere else and let somebody else worry about it. If you want to remain as a successful solopreneur, fantastic, but find ways to really systematize your day um, and all of the communications and products and services that you use so that you get the most of your personal time for the maximum amount of income that's possible doing that. If you want to scale your business, which is really where the growth is possible, you've got to get effective teams behind you doing an offload, delegate, let go of the things that you don't need to be doing. Do only what you can do and start to develop products and services that are can be delivered or offered through someone other than yourself. I see this a lot, a lot of entrepreneurs up to their eyeballs and they've only bought themselves a job and the business isn't scalable. It's a whole lot of time and effort for something um, that really is going nowhere and I think you deserve a lot more. If you're interested in scaling your business, give me a call.